Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I have a photo here of a city. It's Vancouver, Canada. Absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful city and a beautiful skyline. And I was shooting it from a balcony of a place that we had rented, like an Airbnb kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I like the shot, but it just needs some work. And so I went in, I edited and I wrote down some notes and I was like, I'm going to walk through all this stuff in this video. And you know what? I'm just, I'm not feeling it, to be honest. I, what I feel like doing is just kind of winging it and kind of doing an off script edit. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, my hope here is that it kind of shows you what I'm doing in terms of thinking about the photo. So here's the photo. Uh, all I've done so far is remove a spot. And the first thing that I look at is composition AI because I feel like I need to fix the perspective. And honestly, I mean, <laughs> that just does a great job. I absolutely just love that. I think I'm, I'm good. So I can just be done with that. And really, you know, so like I said, I'm kind of going off script on the video, but what I want to do is just kind of walk through my thought process, look at the photo and kind of share some thoughts about how, um, how I want to approach the edit. For me, I want the colors to pop. I mean, I just, that's my thing, I guess. I like colors. Um, I want some of the warmth uh, to come back. There's some, you know, some city lights a little bit. I want some of those to glow a little bit. And I want to, you know, put a little structure into the buildings. You know how to do that. I'll show you if you don't. Um, and just kind of, I don't know. I just want to have fun, to be honest. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is start with Accent AI. And I'm just going to move this up a bit and then maybe do a little sky enhancer as well. Um, you can kind of see how that's impacting the sky. Um, let me show you the original again. There it is. Whoops. There it is. So, you know, it was blue hour just past sunset. You can see the sun set off to the uh, left there. I want to bring back a little bit of that color, a little bit of that mood, but I definitely want it to be a little bit more, um, I don't know, interesting maybe is the, is the right word. So um, I'm just going to have a kind of play here and see what I can do. One thing I'm going to do is bring up the warmth a little bit here and, you know, maybe the temperature a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to add a little contrast, maybe bump up the shadows um, a little bit. I don't want to overdo that. Let me pull that back down. Like I said, I'm not using my notes, so I'm kind of winging this as I go. But, you know, I think already I've got better visibility into the, the photo, right? Lifting the shadows helps with that, as does Accent AI. And so now I'm going to go put a little bit of structure into those buildings. So just a, a ooh, not that much, <laughs> a little bit, and then I go to 50. You know, hey, um, let's see, not that much. So now I've got the brush. I'm going to go ahead and just paint this in. And I want to paint it into the buildings, as I said. So let me do that, and then I'll fast forward the video. Okay, there you go. Let me show you the mask. So that's what it looks like. I covered that area quick and easy. Let me hide the mask and get back to editing. So structure, I just stuck it in the buildings. I tend to do that with man-made structures. I just like them to have a little bit more crunch, right? So that's kind of what I'm thinking about there. Now I want to go into the colors. And, you know, I like the blue. I love blue hour. It's probably my favorite time to shoot in cities. Um, but you know, this one needs a little bit of work. So I'm going to give it a little bit of vibrance because I do like big colors. You've, you've heard and, and maybe seen that before. I think the hue is fine. I think the saturation of the blue actually needs to come down a little bit. So maybe about like that. And then maybe the luminance as well, just because I, I like to make it a little bit darker. Um, and I do know I'm going to use super contrast. That's going to help me kind of adjust the light as well. If you haven't used super contrast, I highly recommend it. It's really just a fantastic tool. So a little bit of work here in color. Let me see. There's the before and there's the after. Sometimes I will just come in and slide the remove color cast slider just to kind of see what it does. And you know what? It didn't help me here. I don't like that. So I'm going to skip that. But I am going to go over here and get golden hour simply because as you can see, as I'm dragging this to the right, it's bringing back a little bit of that sunset color in that far left corner, but it's really popping some of those street lights, that building in that bottom left corner, that street in the kind of the bottom right corner. I just think that looks pretty nice. So without the golden hour filter, it's a little bit more muted. And then with it, the buildings uh, all get a little bit more saturated. They get a little bit brighter. There's a little bit more warmth to the photo. I just think that looks really good. And so even though it's a blue hour photo in a city, I use golden hour like all the time because it really, I think, helps pop the overall warmer tones and just adds a nice uh, touch to the photo. Okay, I mentioned super contrast. I know I want to use that because I use it on a lot of photos. And so I'm going to get in there and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Here's exactly, uh, I've said this in many videos where I say, here's what I'm going to do. But what I normally do is just experiment. So here, I'm just going to experiment. This is how it really works for me. I just come in here. I'm not going to look at my notes and I just come in and I start moving these around and I start pulling them up 
And you know, I know the shadows contrast is going to increase the shadow. Um, brighten that foreground is really what I'm trying to say. And then I come in with balance and just start experimenting to see kind of what I like. I like the sky a little bit darker, but not too dark. Midtone balance. Uh, I like it a little bit more to the left and shadow balance. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, nef definitely not to the right, maybe a little bit to the left. So that's kind of how I usually go about it. Let me show you what this did to the photo. There it is before. And there it is now. It's kind of brightened the entire thing, which is not normally what I do. I will often use it to kind of darken the sky a little bit and brighten the foreground, but I actually think it looks pretty good like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, here's the other thing. Super contrast. Contrast does pop colors, so it accentuates the difference between colors. So if you look at that there before super contrast and now, it looks a bit more saturated. The colors are brighter and stronger, so just keep that in mind. Often what happens in my work is I'll do super contrast and then I'll come back up here to color and, uh, you know, I don't admit it all the time, but I might reduce saturation a little bit. So um, I'll come up here and maybe take this down just a tad and that's an overall adjustment because I'm not trying to create an over the top, you know, hey, here's my saturated photo. Wow, it's going to get lots of likes or whatever. Like I, I don't, you know, not to be mean. Um, but like, I don't really care about that. Um, I do want to make a photo that I like, and, and I like this, and, and I'm just gonna play with this um, negative saturation a little bit because like I said, I wanna be careful. Um, also that yellow in that bottom left-hand corner. Uh, actually, I'm gonna check with hue here, see if I can make that a little bit more orange. See how that adjusts? If I drag the hue of yellow to the right, that yellow lights uh, down there are really yellow. If I go the other way, they're getting really orange. I like them a little bit more orange. So I'm also gonna go into saturation, maybe take that down just a little bit, the yellow and the orange. I don't wanna overdo it. They were getting a little intense. So one more time, there's the before. That's the overall color look. And after, a little bit more muted. Um, I think a little bit tamer, which, uh, which I think looks nice. Now, I will admit, composition-wise, uh, I kind of wish I'd shot this a little bit different because I've got like a little bit of a street here, which I want to leave that street in. I wish I'd gotten more of that streak of that car light in this bottom right corner, but normally I would want to crop out some of this rooftop, except I've got that um, yellow lights, which I like. So I feel like I should have been closer to the balcony, but as high as we were and on a tripod, I was like, a little scary with the, you know expensive camera gear. But I feel like wide angle lens, which I did shoot this with, a little closer and then a little tilted down to capture more of that foreground would allow me to crop out a little bit more and still capture some of the things I wanted to get there while still getting a fair bit of sky. So, you know, I'm always thinking about things, uh, you know, what I would do different basically. And in this case, I'd probably shoot it a little bit differently. This was, you know, four years ago or something. Um, and you know, my taste change, all that. Uh, so anyway, there's my edit so far. Now the other thing I really like to do is go into mystical. Although, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to toning. And again, not something that was in my notes. I didn't try this. I'm gonna increase the saturation of the highlights in the hue and give that a little bit more warmth. And so I'm basically, if you drag this to the right, you'll see it gets really red. I don't wanna do that. I just want to get a little bit more of that kind of, um, kind of you know, a little bit of that reddish glow across it. I don't want to go that far though. I, I, I want to be careful not to overdo it. So there's that. Let me see what that looks like. There's the before. Um, it's a little bit bluer and a little bit greener actually in some places. And now, so a tiny bit more warmth. I actually might increase that saturation of that just a little bit. And that's something I love to do. Split toning is fabulous. Highlights on, on a scene like this, you can you know kind of bring up some of those warmer tones, even though they're they're kind of hidden. Uh, but I don't know. I think it uh, I think it kind of works. And I think what I'll do now is go to mystical and just give that a little bump of mystical because I like to add that uh, kind of that I call it romantic lighting. I don't really know what else to call it. But I'm gonna go a little bit there. But I'm also gonna bump up the shadows because you know, I spent some time making sure I could get good visibility into the foreground. And if I just you know, drag mystical to the right and don't adjust the shadows, I end up kind of overcoming uh, that or reversing it, for lack of a better word. So I think this looks a little bit better. Let me turn that off. There it is before mystical. And you know what? I really like it like that, to be honest. And after mystical, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna just leave mystical um, off. As much as I like mystical, and I do like it a lot, I'm gonna leave it off. I'm gonna go to glow 
and experiment with a little bit of Orton and see what that looks like. Again, this is live, unscripted. I'm just kind of having a play here. Okay, the Orton is getting really too bright, so let's try Orton Soft. I'm just going to experiment. Nope, don't like that either. And I don't want, I don't think I want glow. That just usually makes the highlights really bright. Yeah, so that'll brighten up the sky. Yeah, I'm not liking any of that either. So I think I'm going to call that an edit, my friends. Let me show you what we started with. There it is. There is a spot in the upper left, which I took out. And of course, I corrected the verticals and that sort of thing with the composition AI tool, but much darker, a uh, lot bluer, no visibility into the foreground, and really just um, not a lot of color pop. And now, much brighter, much more visible. I think, I think, I don't know, it's, it's you know, I always go back after editing a photo and decide, oh, I'd rather do it differently. So it's the beauty of digital photography, just, you know, make multiple copies of your photos and edit them, you know, five different ways or whatever. Uh, but I think I like how the blue and then the warm tones that I brought up are kind of playing off of each other here. And, uh, you know, that was a combination of the things uh, like the split toning, the golden hour, warming it up here in the light tool, which I did. And that's another thing. Sometimes, um, I know this is kind of, I'm, I'm kind of free associating through this video. This is like a stream of consciousness kind of thing. Hope you're, uh, hope you're not just bored to death. Uh, but sometimes what I'll do is after doing all those, I might come back to temperature and tint and give that another little bit of a play. So I might go a little bit warmer and see what I like there. And I don't like that. That's getting too warm. And I might come back cooler and try that. And I like it kind of cool, but I'm going to go, I don't know where I was. I wasn't actually paying attention. I'm just going to go back and, you know, figure out what I like. I think I like that. And I'm going to try the tint a little bit. I want to be careful. Yeah, see, it's going to get too purple. If I go very far, that's what it does. It creates that magenta look. And if I go very far left, um, it's just going to be blue and green, right? So as I continue dragging it, it becomes very green, which is terrible. So I'm going to go back up here, maybe in the 20s, something like that. Again, I don't remember where I started. I think that looks pretty good. And I actually think, last thing, here's another thing I do. I'll sometimes come back to Enhance AI, and assuming I didn't go to 100, which of course I didn't here, I might come back and play with that a little bit more. It's gonna give a little bit more bump to that foreground, and I kinda like that. I think that's looking pretty good. Now, because it's brighter, you can see the colors better. So again, it's looking a little bit more saturated. Um, Sky Enhancer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pull that back. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe about like that. And then I think one more time, I'm gonna to go to color and I'm gonna pull the saturation slightly down a little bit more. I don't wanna just go crazy over the top. It's not, you know, here's my colorful photo. I'm just trying to make a photo that I like. I think I like that. And as soon as I finish uh, this video, I'll probably go play with it and change it again. But that's, that's a stream of consciousness, live, unscripted edit. I don't know what you wanna call it, but basically, I had an idea in mind that I wanted to pop the colors, create a little bit more warmth, brighten the foreground, that sort of thing. And I think I did it. And that's how I would go about it. Let me show you one more time. There's the before and the after. And if I do the sliding uh, comparison here, you can see, I, I mean, Composition AI, those buildings are front and center now, and of course straight, which is fantastic. Um, and you always get that distortion with a wide angle lens, especially if you're close, like the closer you are, the more distortion you get. But these are still pretty distorted, even though I was, you know, a couple blocks away on a balcony, but they just look fantastic. You can see how much bigger this building is here, but I just think it looks really balanced and I think it looks good. I like my edit. Stream of consciousness, my friends. If you like more of this kind of stuff, hey, I can record these kind of videos all the time because I don't have to plan anything. Um, and uh, frankly, I could crank these out all the time, but... Um, let me know if this is uh, interesting to you. I just like to kind of share my thought process and then sort of attack it and try to figure out how to achieve what I kind of envision in my mind. That was what I was trying to do here, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching, hanging out, stopping by, swinging by, you know, just give me a little bit of your virtual attention. I appreciate that. You guys be good out there. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time, and adios.